The spirit of Christmas is the spirit of love and of generosity and of goodness. It illuminates the picture window of the soul. We look out upon the world's busy life and become more interested in people than in things. The spirit of Christmas is something I hope all of us would have within our hearts and within our lives, not only at this particular season, but throughout the years. A wise Christian once urged, let us not spend Christmas, but let us keep Christmas in our hearts and in our lives. This is my plea tonight, because when we keep the spirit of Christmas, we keep the spirit of Christ. For the Christmas spirit is the Christ spirit. We'll block out all the distractions around us, which can diminish Christmas and swallow up its true meaning. There's no better time than now, this very Christmas season, for all of us to rededicate ourselves to the principles taught by Jesus Christ. Because he came to earth, we have a perfect example to follow. As we strive to become more like him, we will have joy and happiness in our lives and peace each day of the year. It is his example which he followed stirs within us more kindness and love, more respect and concern for others. Because he came, there is meaning to our mortal existence. Because he came, we know how to reach out to those in trouble or distress, wherever they may be. Because he came, death has lost its sting, the grave is victory. We will live again because he came. Because he came and paid for our sins, we have the opportunity to gain eternal life. Because he came, we're gathered tonight to worship him in bonds of brotherhood and love. May his precious spirit be with us and may he ever be the center of our celebrations and indeed of our very lives. I pray this prayer in behalf of all of you and through my heart and soul in his holy name. Amen.